Hey up folks, Andy here. Welcome back on board Potemkin. Thanks for joining me on this bank holiday Saturday. It's like uh, lunch time now. And I've just been down to the workshop and I've come back with this. Which is a new, um, for the centre line on the boat. The one I've got on is in the wrong place. I need to move it away because it's over the, the new hatch I put in so it's no good there it wants moving back a couple of foot and I've made Kim one that has two eye bolts on it and it can have a rope to each side of the boat they're just I've just got those nuts on for the time being because I'm going to get these welded on so it's just a normal eye bolt a M20 eye bolt it's to be what are they 1.6 ton eye bolts but that's irrelevant and what I'm going to do is because I've got all this writing on it cast into it I'm going to get the soft pad and clean all that off so it's just circular none of that lot you don't want but messing around getting paint in them or what have you so once I've done that I'll weld these on around the top I shall then remove the nut cut the thread off and weld around the bottom so they're solid and that welds to the roof and what I picked up yesterday because it's quick boat show we went yesterday on the trade day and I'd like to say hello to Lee who uh, recognised me and we had a chat we were both looking at a stall that was doing blacking for boats a different blacking that you can put on and Lee was showing me his photos of his boat and he's uh, been put a new base plate on it and overplating it and stuff so he's got a big job on and anyway thanks for saying hello Lee, nice to meet you and I bought these fair leads with the lips on so that goes on the roof like that, the fair lead one at each side sits on the corner of the roof and the rope goes through it and because it's lips it doesn't wear away your paintwork so one at each side, rope straight out over that and you can just pull them down each side of the boat and when you need to whichever side you're chucking one off you're pulling up against just throw one rope off and you're not going to mess around swapping sides with a single rope just tie these things up a bit so they've got to go on they want uh, drilling and tapping those but uh, it's getting a bit of a cast and partly like weather forecast is it's going to be persisting it down for a few days Anyway, we'll get this welded on now, I'll weld this up, grind these off, weld this up and then we'll have it on the roof and weld it on. Right, that's that done, that didn't take long, five minutes so now I've got rid of all the cast uh, numbers and what have you on there so they're just smooth now tidy a job, we don't need them numbers on, they're not lifting eyes, we don't want to pick bolts up with them just for the centre line right, so I've got the welder set up and we'll get this welded on Right, we've got those welded on we'll give them 20 minutes to cool down and then I'll cut the threads off the bottoms and smarten them up give them a fettle then we'll have them on the roof that's it then it's all welded on so it's solid as a rock that full weld on top and on the bottom so now we're just going to weld this to the roof 
So we'll get it out there, get welded out and uh, mark it out, get it sent to the roof and we'll have it on. Morning folks, bank holiday Sunday, it'll be wet down it quick, you need your wellies on today. But it's raining out there, I wanted to finish on the roof with that uh, centre line, get it finished off with some paint on it but it's raining <laughs> so can't be doing that. Anyway, done all hurt it. So I'm going to do some stuff in here, I brought some boards with me, I want to get these walls uh, get this insulation put on and then cut some board that goes on the back there and get that out of the way and I've got some board for in the engine room as well for the bulkhead to the bedroom so I'm going to get that done and uh, just have to do what we can and whatever else I can get on with I'll get on with Okay, so we've got the spare lead on, it's coming straight off, a couple of bolts in it for now, and that's the centre line finished and a coat of primer on it. 
so that's this side, one other side then, but I'm not doing that till the bolts turn around, I'll drop it in.